Hi everyone and welcome to the review for thermal energy. After you watch this video um, that would be a good time to take the thermal energy assessment but please note that some of the questions we're going to be reviewing today may look very similar but be careful because some of them are said or written in slightly differently. You will have access to both the progress build and the mid-chapter assessment. Please note that this is not the test. This is just uh, for studying. So here we have the three progress builds. You learned this one in chapter one and L2 is in chapter two and L3 was from chapter three. I would go over and read all the descriptions because it gives you a good idea and um, summary of the chapter. In chapter one, we learned that the temperature of an object is related to the kinetic energy of its molecules, which is which increase as the speed of the molecules increase. And what we mean by that is that when objects have higher averages, they have more temperature or a higher temperature. And then in chapter two, we went and learned about how objects, warmer objects transfer energy to cooler objects. And this is true no matter the size of either object. The warmer one will always give energy to the cooler one. It doesn't matter the size here. And then in progress build three or level three, we learned that the size of the object in contact affects how much of the energy transfer happens. So this is where size matters. Even though the warm object will always give to cold, depending on the size of the object, it will determine how much thermal energy there is. And the more thermal energy there is to share, the higher the average is going to be. Okay, so we're gonna go over some of the questions from the mid-chapter test, um, which is very similar to the final chapter test. I meant unit, um, I apologize. Lava is hot liquid rock. When lava flows over solid ground, the solid ground beneath it increases in temperature. What happens to the molecules in the solid ground when the temperature is increasing? So if we look here at um, progress build one, we know that when temperature is increasing, the speed of the molecules are increasing. So if the ground is getting hotter, that would mean that the energy in the ground is increasing. And that correlates with the first level. Now, let's take a look at chap the question two. Claude is in the kitchen cooking and is going to stack one pan on top of another pan. The two pans are the same size and have the same amount of same number of molecules. The diagram above shows the pans now before they touch each other. Use the information in the diagram to answer the question. How does the temperature of the top pan compare with the temperature of the bottom pan now and what will happen after the pans have been touching for a while? We see that the top pan is colder than the bottom pan. And in the second level, it says when objects trans, uh, warmer objects always transfer the cooler objects. So we know that it's going to transfer from the hot one to the cold one. So before the pans touch, the bottom one is hotter than the top one. That is true. And this is also stating the same fact. So again, true. And then C says the before the pans touch, the bottom one is cooler. That is not true. So we already know it's not C. And then we move on to D. Before the pans touch, the two pans are of different temperatures. Okay, that's still true. It doesn't indicate which one's which, but it is still true. They are different temperatures. So we've already removed C. Now we're looking at ways to get rid of A, B, or D. Once the pans are touching, the bottom will transfer kinetic energy to the molecules in the cooler one on top until both reach the same temperature, which will be between their starting temperatures. This is true and the correct answer, but let's take a look at B and D to find out why they're wrong. Once the pans are touching the cooler one, uh, the cooler top pan will gain kinetic energy until the molecules of both pans have an energy of seven, 70 because hotter things increase the temperature of cooler things. 
this is true. Hotter things increase the temperature of cooler things. However, they won't reach 70 because they have to share. They're not gaining any energy. There's no energy to gain. So they have to share the energy that's already there. So the temperature is going to be between 70 and 30. And that's going to depend on size. So this one does not work. And then for D, once the pans are touching, both kinetic energy and cold energy will transfer between the molecules in the two pans until both reach the same temperature, which will be between the two starting temperatures. Now, the only thing that makes this one wrong is that the both kinetic energy and cold energy, there's no such thing as cold energy. So it's not that this energy is going to be passing down here and this one's passing up there. That's not true. There's only thermal energy, and it will be transferring from here to here because the thermal energy means how much kinetic energy. And if this has 70 degrees of kinetic energy, it's going to pass to the 30 degrees because these are slower than these. And question three. An architect is stacking pieces of plastic to make two columns in a model building. In the diagram below shows pieces of plastic before they touch each other. Use the information in the diagram to answer the questions. After they have been touching for a while, which of the two top plastic pieces will be cooler and why? Well, they're both 40 and 20. But if you see here, there's more cooler ones. This would make this, when they get to equilibrium, this is going to be hotter. Why? Because the heat only has to spread to a small number. Here, the heat has to spread to a much larger space. So it's gonna be stretched out. It's not going to make that much impact. So the larger, the larger top plastic piece will be cooler than the smaller top plastic piece. This is true. It started with, the, with more total kinetic energy. So less energy has to transfer. Not that it matters for that, it matters how much it has to be shared. So let's take a look at option B. The larger top plastic piece will be cooler than the smaller one. Okay, this is true because the energy that transfers to it has, it transferred to it was spread out over more molecules. And there's the correct answer because they are spread out between more molecules. And this correlates to progress build three, where it talks about the size of the objects can affect how much energy is transferred between the objects. Now, if you continue on with the test, they follow the pattern of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I would use this to try to gain some answers with this. Um, this again is only the, the mid chapter test. It's very similar to the regular, um, the final chapter test final unit test, I apologize. So you can use this sheet to help answer on the final test as well.